The first part of the lesson is over. Let me give you an advice and that's Every time you see that I pause the video I give you some tips and I want you to do them exactly as I tell you Watching the videos immediately after each other is really not going to be helpful And finishing an episode at once is really not going to help you Even if you are in a hurry you should do all the things I have been predicting for you and imagine this is your class time right now and now it's time for the practice. Now you should practice all we talk through right now and you're not going to be able to draw this file I just drew and uh, you can find that in your package uh, ready. You will uh, try everything, you will go to the 3D, to the plan and you should practice everything in it. And remember, we have no rush. In order to learn, you should work based on the principle. So, if you see I've prepared a practice for you in any spot of this package, please do the practice. Imagine you're sitting in your classroom and you must use that time in order to practice. So, let's go and learn the first tool in Revit, which is called the wall. We usually start our project in Revit with the wall because the rest of the objects are mostly related to the wall. In which headline can we find the wall? That's right, in the architecture. You can see the icon here. Most of the tools you see in Revit have a kind of arrow under it. And when you click on it, you see some uh, subsets. And when I don't point out to open the subset, click on the, uh, the part on the top so that you can open the main part. The shortcut for drawing wall is WA and you can also use the W plus space. There are some tools that you can use the space instead of the second letter. For example, for the wall, instead of uh, using WA, you can use W space and it will be the same thing. But it doesn't happen to every tool, just for some of them. To activate the wall, we click on this icon or uh, use the WA shortcut or W space. So I click on it and the wall is activated. To start a wall, just like AutoCAD, you can choose a point to start your drawing. In the AutoCAD, the first thing that comes to our mind is that the wall is straight. So, we click on F8 and turn it on. But in Revit, there is no need for that. There is actually no such button for it. If you pay attention in the Revit, uh, when we get a bit close to the uh, completely straight line, it will be straight itself automatically and then a blue line uh, will uh, appear in the middle of our wall that shows the wall is straight so don't worry about the wall's direction and one more thing is that when I move my mouse a little uh, the wall will not lose his direction and will stay constant so as long as it's on the area of the straight line it will not change so now how do we manage its size how do we measure the size of our uh, wall you should have already managed your size and mine is on meter now size so drawing while I'm drawing this I can enter the number at first choose the direction like the AutoCAD uh, for example will it be to right and how much will be the length I choose for example 10.10 .10, and then click on it for example here uh, write, I write 6 and then click and I keep doing it 6 click so now how can I draw it angled in Revit we have uh, no special place for you to uh, enter that angle so if I want to bring my uh, angle down I will uh, you will hold your mouse and you will drag it down to change your angle and after that I will write its uh, length for example 12 
Let's do it one more time. For example, with 27 degree to down. I uh, get it down and when I see 27, I stop. I let my mouse go and I will write down the length. Just like this. The extensions in Revit are automatically there. For example, if you uh, bring that here, it gives you the extension. It also gives you the parallel extension from uh, that. As you can see, I should manage it too. And these extensions are really good in Revit. But if you want here's extension, it doesn't give it to you. You should draw another wall so that it gives it to you and I uh, bring it here and draw it and close it just like that so now let's talk about the snaps the snaps in Revit are completely like the snaps in uh, AutoCAD there are just a couple of small uh, differences that I will show you for example they have the same midpoint as you can see for example, when I want to draw the perpendicular here, that's what I do. Just like the AutoCAD, its sign will appear too. Let me draw another wall here too. You see, intersection. One of the different things in here is the nearest, which in AutoCAD there are two triangles on each other. But here is just the cross. And it's a light cross, but the intersection is a bit less lighter the cross. But they're kind of alike. Nearest and intersection have nearly the same sign. Something that might happen to you is that you might want an it snap but it doesn't give it to you. For example, uh, you come here and here is both endpoint and midpoint. You see, it's endpoint and the intersection. If you tap here, it switches between the possible snaps that it can give it to you. Friends, we are going to need this point for a long time. Did you figure out if you wanted a snap and it doesn't give it to you tap on it so that you can use the snap uh, you are willing to use and there is a funny point in uh, the Revit that in AutoCAD there's another kind of it if you drag this here and you want to close it in AutoCAD you click on C but here if you want to close it its shortcut is SZ. But there's also another point. If you click on SZ, it will show you, but it doesn't close it. One click after that, you can close the, uh, the design. Let me show you on another shape. For example, I'll draw this. And uh, here I want to close it. Click on SC. It will show you that it's closed, but it's not done. Click and it's done. This is how it's done in Revit. Now let's talk about the different kinds of selection. Here we have a, an arrow that its deity is to select, but it's written modify under it, but don't care about it. It's selection. It can be a better name for it. So that arrows the UT is to select. You will click on it or you can click on escape on your keyboard. Click on escape once or twice and it will go on that arrow. Now you can select. We have three kinds of selection in Revit that are just like AutoCAD. The first kind is to open a rectangle from left to right. But in what way can we select? As you can see now, it doesn't select anything if one object is completely on this rectangle then it will be selected but if I open it from right to the left uh, it's just uh, enough to get close to that uh, object and it will select it 
if even a small part of it is in that uh, window it will uh, select it now what is the third kind is the third kind is to click on an object one click and it will be selected very simple and quickly when can it be useful when two objects are overlap when two objects are on each other when you click on it it selects only one of those objects if you want to choose all the walls that are connected to each other for example all the walls are, that are around the, the design if you go on a wall and uh, tab it once or twice all the walls will be highlighted not selected but highlighted and then what you will do is that you will click on it and then it will be selected you see it's really important point and you must learn it so let's, let's do it one more time you move your mouse to one of those walls that are connected to each other and you want to choose uh, all of them tap once or twice usually once all the walls that are uh, connected to it will be highlighted and then click only once and don't move your mouse you see when you tap don't move your mouse somewhere else because it will be cancelled tap and immediately click for example you see uh, these two that are connected to each other if you tap and click it will select only these two tap click you see very very simple it does it first continuously you can also add your selection uh, in this way you can hold the control and add parts and when you hold the shift it will be fewer and as you know the control z will undo a part and uh, control y will uh, redo it means it uh, brings back those that uh, you undo if you want to delete an object for example this one i select it and then you can click on that cross or click on delete in your keyboard it has shortcuts too but why why do we do that when you click on delete in your keyboard it will be deleted so we learned how to draw straight walls and some other techniques that if you think it's necessary watch it all again so that you get to know it in a perfect way please draw an image i will upload them for you carefully